my name is CMAC. I'm from CMAC's Paperbacks, and we're here to do another book review with you. So if you are new to my videos, welcome, and if you are seen any before, welcome back. We do really quick reviews here, super quick, and everything is fully written up and reviewed at cmaxpaperbacks.com. All the books I read are on there, and some books are put on book two. I'm mixing up my location today. We're in my sunroom, so welcome. And today's book we are reviewing is The Last House on Needless Street by Katerina Ward. This book was actually recommended to me by a viewer on a previous video. It took a while to get it. It had quite a cold wait list at my library, but I finally did and I finished it and I'm ready to discuss. So this book, the point of the book is the huge twist, the exciting part, you know, the the drama. So I don't ever like to do spoilers on here, so I have to be very general in the way I speak and careful what I say. So if I pause struggling for words, that is why. So The Last House on Needless Street. Um, the beginning was very hard to get into, I will say. I, it's just, I didn't really know what was going on. And as you progress in the book and you experience the flip, you realize then what went on in the beginning. And I mean, I kind of regret that I didn't pay attention more in the beginning, knowing the exciting part. And um, yeah, so, that's that's the book i i did think once i read the author's note a lot of things started clicking for me and the author was writing the book a certain way as she was writing it she something it didn't fit or whatever which i agree the beginning feels a little disjointed and so then she switched her what she was going to do and did different research and yada 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 Unfortunately, I feel that you can really tell that in the book. Like, you can tell the book was being written one way, and then we have the reveal, and then the book is written a different way. And I think that's where I, that's where I, um, I don't, I, I had to dock at a star just for that kind of thing. Like, it bothered me because I did feel very confused in the beginning, and then it started making sense, and yeah, yeah. Um, my only other thing I'd pose to you viewers is I didn't really understand the character of D. Sure, she set some things in motion. Maybe she was an observer to give the reader a different perspective, but I don't know. The, we were focused, I think, too much on her and it, she didn't matter in the end. So I, I, and I, or if she didn't matter, I wish at the end of the book we would have followed up with what happened again I have to be careful what I say so yeah um overall hats off to Katarina Ward because Katrina Katriana ooh, Katriana Ward because this style of book is really hard to write and put forth and organized and give to the reader so it's a tough subject to write about I feel this ha this book um, was very made me very uncomfortable. So if you want a, a kind of sick thriller, this this is your book. Um, it made me uncomfortable. It made me creeped out. It made me like, oh my god, there's are people actually like this. Like, ugh. Like so, a lot of the stuff goes into a lot of detail. Of, ugh stuff so yeah it's a it's a creepy book um but sometimes you know people watch slasher movies people like the horribly uncomfortable books i mean is is that even uh a negative or is that just how the book is so again good book if you want to be completely creeped out this is definitely a book for you um it it is one the um person who recommended it did say it was something that like stuck with them and it, it has actually stuck with me it's um 
probably the top five creepiest books I've ever read. It's, yeah, it, it gets you. So hats off to you. Um, that's it for me. Again, very hard to talk about because I don't want to go into details. Maybe I should have like a spoiler series where we can go further into details to talk about more. But have you guys ever read this? Um, let me know in the comments below. Any more books to recommend that you'd like to see me review on here? Again, let me know. And thank you so much for watching and sticking with me this far. Like, comment, and subscribe, as they say in YouTube land. Bye, guys.